Vadim Rostam is on his knees on the sidewalks, digging at some paving and battling his way through the dirt. He's embroiled in a race against time. There's something underneath the ground, and he has to retrieve it before it's too late. At last, his hole is big enough, so he reaches in and pulls out what he's been looking for. The gathered onlookers, meanwhile, are so amazed that they can't hold back their tears. Rustam's incredible story began one day in September 2015. He was walking on the sidewalk outside his home in Voronezh, a city in southwest Russia, when he heard a strange noise. At that time, though, he was unable to determine the source of the sound. But the noise was certainly bothering him, and Rustam remembered that the local authorities had recently paved over a sinkhole that had remained outside his building for three weeks. Could something still be lurking inside it? Rustam reckoned that just might be the case, but he knew he couldn't just start digging up the sidewalk. Instead, he asked the authorities to investigate, because this would seemingly have involved undoing already completed repair work, so the officials declined to help. The noise, though, wasn't going away, so Rustam simply decided to take the matters into his own hands. In fact, he used a hammer as a lever to start pulling up the sidewalk's bricks located directly above the noise. Of course, with this being the 21st century, the primitive digging was captured on camera by one curious onlooker. The resulting film shows that once Rostam had removed a section of bricks, he then started to shovel dirt with his hands. But just when he seemed to be making progress, a large boulder appears. The rock, moreover, proved tricky to remove because Rostam's hole cowered around the bottom of some steps severely restricting the space. Nevertheless, Rustam is clearly getting close to the source of the strange sound. He continues to dig as the woman behind the camera becomes more and more agitated. Come on! She keeps saying in Russian, come on, come on! Finally, Rustam can take hold of what has been trapped under the ground. He remains calm, his mission isn't quite simply completed yet, after all, but it all gets a bit too much for the woman holding the camera. Fighting back tears, the woman films Rostam shoveling out more dirt as a very bemused face appears from the cavity. The face belonged to a dog that had been barking and crying for two days in a desperate bit to be heard. And amazingly, it was about to be set free. It turned out that the stray pooch later named Belka was actually in the sinkhole when the authorities covered it over. She was essentially entombed beneath the paving without food or water for 48 hours. But the story wasn't over yet. When Rostam started pulling Belka free, he realized just how important it was to be careful with her. Indeed, when Rostam had freed Belka's front half, there was a brief pause as the rescuer considered the best way to lift the rest of her out of the hole. That's because Belka was pregnant. It's probable that the stray had thought that the sinkhole was a relatively safe place to give birth. What must she have thought when the hole was patched over? Rustam placed his hands behind Belka's front legs and pulled one last time, and despite the dramatic nature of the rescue and the fact that the onlookers now surrounded her, the dog managed to remain totally calm. In fact, when Belka reached the surface, she clambered to her feet, started wagging her tail and strolled over to meet the delighted onlookers. She was probably just relieved to not have to bark any longer. Certainly, the scene was reminiscent of a long overdue reunion, a testament to how grateful Belka was to be rescued and to how she had captured the hearts of those who gathered watching. Naturally, emotions were running high at this point. Belka probably could not believe her luck, but she remained the dog with her uncertain future, where she would go now and where would her litter be born. Sadly, the latter concern became a moot subject. Her unborn puppies didn't make it. While Belka had managed to soldier on without food and water, the lack of sustenance had proved too much for her brood. There was some good news for Belka. However, as she was placed in an animal shelter after giving a clean bill of health, she was then made available to be adopted. Belka's rescue, which was defined by one man's steely determination to help an animal in distress, was nothing short of remarkable. Hopefully, there will be another human who steps into being a new chapter in Belka's already eventful life.